Black Freak White, you know my slogan. I'm doing it like I'm doing it, and I'm doing it for TV. Salute the TV. Let's get it. 2018, 2K18. What is some of the biggest things we want to see in my team? I think I'm going to bring him, bring that to the forefront starting now. We just had the All-Star break, and we played more than half of the regular season and more than half of the season games. So we got a, like maybe a month or two left in the regular season, and which means we pretty much got a month or two left in 2K of this 2K. So especially if there's not gonna be no road to the finals, we got KOK coming in June. So uh, KOK3 hashtag. So what I want to discuss is my 2018 wish list. So my number one thing on my wish list, which I think is very important, is dynamic trios. Dynamic trios. They have dynamic duels this year. They need to up their game and get dynamic trios that actually make sense. So I'm going to show you the top five dynamic trios that they must have in 2K18. Let's ride. My number one dynamic trio they need to have next year is the one that started people making, creating their own super teams. The Miami Heat with D-Wade, LeBron James, and Chris Bosh. You guys already know, um, <clears throat> this was one of the greatest trios of all time. They won a couple of championships. You got this, if you make trios 2K, this has to be the number one trio created. Now we got the New Jersey Nets, AKA the Brooklyn Nets. This would be a, oh, Jason Kidd at the point, Vince Carter at the two, Richard Jefferson at the three, uh, athleticism, dunking, shooting, passing, dribbling. If you know anything about this Diamond Vince Carter card, it is literally the best card in the game right now. So imagine that all my trios are real trios. Some of them are going to be of old school players mixed with new school players. Some of them are going to be people that actually played together. This trio right here went to the Eastern Conference Finals four years in a row. That's a feat that has not been matched. I don't even think LeBron went four years in a row. He went to the Finals, but I don't think he went with the same team four years in a row. Or the same franchise. So that tells you something. He'll probably pass that soon. But with Cleveland, because they're going to go. They went two years. If they go this year, it'll be year three. So, yeah. I mean, that's a feat that is worthy of a dynamic trick. Saying, Coach, Scott OG, Belba, LD, Ronnie, holla at your boy. We got them ideas, cuz. Now, this is a goodie. Like, this is the one that <clears throat> somebody gave me on my Twitch. Twitch.tv, Black Frame White, 300 viewers every day. Since I've been streaming every day, we back at it. I'm so proud of y'all, man. I'm so proud of my kings for supporting me on that Twitch, man. Getting that love. I discussed it in a video a couple weeks ago. And this is what motivated me to keep doing YouTube is the Twitch, man. Because I know I, I know I have something. I know I can be great, man. I just need y'all to rock with your boy and walk with me, man. But I right, enough of all that. Our third dynamic trio. One of the greatest ones of all time. The, the Celtics. Now, the Celtics have several dynamic trios, and I'm going to probably do two of them. Because, so you can have Labby Bird, Kevin McHale, and Robert Parrish. And you know they still got USA Bird coming. So, you're talking about a 99 Bird or a 98 Bird. Like, you can't go wrong with this trio. This, like, I mean, even though Bird for 2K is kind of slow... And realistically, you probably would put Bird at the four. If they can make a faster Bird, like when he was in his prime, like a, it would be probably a one that you would use regularly. But yeah, that's his number three. The Boston Celtics. This one, y'all. My fourth dynamic trio that I want to see in 2K18. The New York Knicks, baby. 
Now, I, I, I struggled back and forth between Porzingis and Melo. But since Porzingis literally has the best card, the second best card in the game, it's Diamond Vince, Porzingis, and probably AD. So when you're talking about the second best card in the game, you have to put it. With the, with some could consider in this year's game, the best offensive center in Patrick Ewing. And then you got an updated super beast now, Bernard King. You got to have this next trio in there. You got to. This is one that is just strictly based off them all playing on the same franchise. Because I don't think Bernard played with Patrick. And we definitely know those two didn't play with Pazingas. But I, you know me. I'm a Knicks fan. I would literally climax to this lineup. Pause. But you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I like number five. Number five. The Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, after watching the All-Star game and seeing how close Harden and Westbrook was and remembering how close Kevin Durant and Westbrook was and even they did the little alley you play, the only one he connected on the whole night, it just made you reminisce about that Thunder team, man. And if they would have stayed together with Serge Ibaka, they would have definitely been, they probably would have won three championships by now. They definitely would have won the championships that the that the um, Warriors won. I just personally feel that one Western Conference championship, they would have won that. But this right here, crazy lineup. This is why a lot of people, when KOK comes around, they always pick. Like this is one of the most popular teams at Thunder because you have. Look at this right now, currently on the all-time Thunder slash Sonics. You have two of the five MVP candidates, top two MVP candidates on one. You can't really go wrong with this team. Like this one right here is, this is a no brainer to me. And you can play off the fact that he's friends on the So if he has a Warriors card, it wouldn't be the Warriors card. It could only have a dynamic trio with his Thunder, throwback Thunder card. That's what I'm just saying, that'd be lit. All right, I think we got two more left, two more left. Another big three from the Celtics. Shout out to my Twitch, my Twitch followers. They definitely put me on to this one too. I think this is a good one. Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, and Kevin Garnett. Um, once again, a trio that you can't go wrong with. Now the only problem is realistically how you would run this run these guys in 2K. You probably would put KG at the center, Paul Pierce at the power. Maybe Ray Allen at the two. I mean at the at the three. But this is another dynamic trio that definitely needs to be in 2K18. I just think that it would be epic to use these players together. And they all get a boost from playing with each other. That's what they did in real life. I'm just saying. Right yeah. The number five dynamic duel. Look at it. Just bask in the glory of in the coming of Boogie Cousins. DeMarcus Cousins, the best offensive center in the game. With Anthony Davis, the best offensive power forward in the game. With, who I personally think is one of the greatest point guards in NBA history. What the hell? This would be, oh my God. You already know Chris Paul can throw alleys. So imagine he's throwing alleys to Boogie and A. It's a wrap. And shout out to the Kings for blowing the trade and getting nothing back. Somebody told me they said they think Buddy Hill will be the next Stephen Curry. Uh, fuck you mean. That's never going to happen. <laughs> Buddy Hill barely is starting to play well on the team where he could take 100 shots a game. But that was small on the Pelicans. They had to pull the trigger on that one. So, but this is this is what I want to. Okay, help me make this dream a reality. Give us dynamic trios, guys. In the comment section down below, give me more dynamic trios you want to see in NBA 2K18. Also, let me know what other things you want me to discuss on my 2K18 wish list. It's one life, one love. There can only be one king.
King's legitimacy, Queen's legitimacy, I'm out. Deuces! Burn! Look at me, ay, fuck on me, yeah. Look at me, ay, look at me, look at me, yeah. Fuck on me, yeah. Ay, look at me, yeah. Fuck on me, look at me, fuck on me, yeah. Look at me, fuck on me, yeah. Ay, fuck on me, look at me, ay, fuck on me, yeah. Look at me, ay, look at me, look at me, yeah. Fuck on me, yeah. Ay.